That is human nature, but then, but then, but then, why are our leaders are all are, are why are they are all old? Why, why, if we, if, if we go back into the history of mankind, the people that we look to for advice, the people that we look to for experience and wisdom are are old, and then we look at our own selves and we're obsessed with youth. There's there's huge contradictions there. I don't think it's that contradictory at all. When you look at these world leaders, going back to what you're saying, yes. They're often more, uh, they're older and you know, more experienced, but they go to great lengths to try to make themselves look young. No, so, they don't. When? Who? Just look at them. You know, they would, they would do their hair, try to do makeup, and dress in a way that even wearing like a more colorful tie. Yeah, that's, yeah, you know, I would. All those, those are recent things. developments. Those are recent. If, if, if we look, if we look at before, before the advent of TV, uh, one of the reasons yeah. that JFK won the presidential election against Richard Nixon was because of the TV, uh, because he was younger, because uh, his campaign manager put makeup on him uh, before he went in front in front of that camera. Uh, and so, and so again, I mean, if we look at you know those leaders, I'm not thinking of you know Congress people and senators in the U.S. for example, uh, perhaps even you know some NPC members up here in China. The people who are not on camera very often, and then you see them, you're like, wow, oh gosh, that guy's old. He's but, fat. Uh, if we go further, further back, and even, you know, look at animal society, the alpha male has always been the strongest, and the old alpha males have always been challenged by younger ones, and it's usually the younger ones beating, and it probably eating the, the, the older ones, and then getting into place. And also, some herds had, uh, you know, traditions of just abandoning the, the old, the, the dying ones. Well, we're, talking, well, we're talking about humans, not animals. Right, but, you know, if you want to go far back, you know, let's go to the further end. I think you're, you're stretching it a little bit. Yeah, maybe. It was a little bit far-fetched, I, I do admit. But let's come back to the camera thing. The camera, the, the, the whole algorithm that can tell your age thing. Apparently, uh, I think another uh, issue why people are interested is they, they, they try to find ways to sort of cheat or trick the algorithm because people have been trying to like adjust the lighting, adjust the angle of their face, apply lipsticks or do whatever to your photo so that they, you know, they want to figure out how am I going to look younger in that uh, machine or, or not a machine, sorry, a website. website. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. well, I, I guess I can understand to some extent because Here's my heartbreaking story that uh, yesterday, to prepare this show, all three of us, our photo has been, you know, rendered on that.